Greetings, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Dave, it's your first visit. And uh, to anyone who's already subscribed, welcome back. Today's video is one way to uh, easily and quickly destroy your two-stroke engine. And that is with one of these. A piston pin circlet. In two-stroke engines, pistons come, nearly all of them, or, or, or all of them should come, with a little slot in the side here. The purpose of this slot is to be able to remove and install the piston pin circlet, the said circlet. Two-stroke circlets should not have this ear in it, okay? The reason is, is that that piston pin can push against the ear and dislodge it and in a two-stroke engine, that clip can come out into the transfer port and get chomped and chomp the piston, damage the port and cylinder. And uh, if, for example, you're out in the bush and uh, you certain, suddenly notice a chomping and a lack of compression and you've got to get back somewhere and you keep riding it, bits of that mess could end up down the bottom, uh, contaminating your conrod bearings then you've got to do a crank, piston, cylinder, conrod, the whole, whole nine yards. So, and all because of this little clip. In some cases, people will get a piston kit to replace, and they'll get a clip that has no ear on it, as two strokes shouldn't, and they'll go and buy a set of clips with one of these ears on it to make it nice and easy to fit with a pair of pliers, with a pair of needle nose pliers, okay? Sounds like a good idea? Well, it's a really bad idea. This ear can have a bias on it, in other words it's bent in one direction. I'll stick it there on a flat surface, you know, you can see the pin that the ear is actually, you know, bent downwards. Even if it's not, okay? That can still be a problem because when you go to put it in, you get a little uh, heavy handed, a little excited to put it all together because you want to go for a ride <laughs> and you end up bending the ear inwards even if it was bent outwards. Put it on a flat surface or have a good look at the uh, circlet and see if it's actually got any bias or bend on the ear and if it has, make sure that's facing outwards. But don't fit the pin piston circlip using that ear, okay? Use the slot. The reason that you should not fit it using this ear and potentially bend it inwards, uh, or you should always make sure that if there is any bend in this, that it's definitely facing the outwards, is because the pin, because the circlip is round in profile, and the slot that it goes into has got a radius, and the the piston wrist pin itself, or gudgeon pin if you like to call it that, whatever you like to call it, I'll just push that out a little bit. You'll notice has a little radius on there, okay? That radius pushes against the pin, forcing it further into its little slot. keeping it in there, keeping it in the slot and stopping it from coming out. If it's pushing, if, it, if the piston pin pushes against this ear sticking out, then that, you know, it's not going to be touching this part to help keep it in. I'm going to fit it with the pin facing inwards, alright? And at the same time, I'm going to show you how to fit a circlip. Now, the complaint by some people I've seen in videos, and the reason they get a pin, uh, uh, the reason they get a circlip with one of these ears, the m most complaint is that trying to fit one, you end up scratching the side of the piston. Well, it won't if you just take a bit of bit of time and a bit of care. Okay, use a pointy scribe. You can get a bit of purchase on the aluminium, and just start off by putting the head of the one side of the circlip in the slot. Okay, and then put the other end so it's just, just above this point here, okay, so that you don't have to scrape across there much, alright, so most of the pin 
is going to roll into the slot. Put the scribe in, push it in, okay? That's why I use a scribe because it's got a bit of purchase in the aluminium. Alright? That's it. Easy peasy. It's not hard to put in. It's not hard to put in without ever touching this. Like I say, even if the bias is facing out, you go shove it in there and you might end up with the bias facing inwards. Now, I'm going to turn that around just for the demonstration here and show you what's happening. Now that pin is a little bit bent inwards. So if we push on the other side of the piston pin, what I was saying to you before is the radius on that piston pin should push against the actual wire part that's here on the on the circlet and not touch the ear that way keeping it in the slot but if the pin ear is bent inwards what we end up with is the piston pin can push against the ear you see it moves see the, see the ear move right Meaning that it's pushing against that. It's trying to lever that out. Not good. Yeah, let me push on that again. All right. You see the ear moving? All right. Again. The ear's moving. All right. Not good. So that can eventually, at high speed, can eventually work the pin out, the clip out. And the clip goes in the transfers and chomperoony, no good. So what we'll do is take that out. All right, and don't take it out using the ear. Just take it out using the slot. All right. Now we'll put it round the other way. How it should be with the bias on the ear facing outwards. Just to demonstrate this for you. Right. Again, don't use the ear to put it in. Just use a scribe. All right. I'll turn it around again. Now, the ear part is bent outwards. So when we push on the piston pin, the ear can't move. Right. The ear can't move at all. That's because it's touching this part of the clip. It's touching this part, you see. And the radius on the, on the piston pin is pushing it further into the slot before it even gets to touch this. It doesn't, doesn't touch this. And if it doesn't touch that, then there's no risk of the circlet being pushed out. A second note, because this has got a radius in the slot and the pin is a piece of wire effectively, if you use a square shaped snap ring instead of one of these, because maybe you've lost it, um, that's going to come out too. And again, it'll go into your transfers and chomp a rooney. That will do it for this video. I'm going to be making more videos using this uh, cheap uh, little engine. I bought this engine for that purpose, so I spent money. Um, you know, I don't have any Patreon or donations or whatever, so I spend my own money and business is tight at the moment and I'm not making any money, so uh, we have to sort of juice as much of uh, value as we can out of this little engine with videos. So we've got more to come, demonstrating some other things, port mapping, uh, so forth, so on. We'll get to that, but uh, if you like the video, Hit the like button. If you don't like the videos, tell me why you don't like the videos and then maybe I can do something about it. The most helpful thing you can do if you uh, support the channel is to share the videos around. Very much appreciated because uh, YouTube's in the habit of not suggesting my videos in the suggestion bar. So thanks again and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.